The following is a lecture given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on September 25th, 1968, in Seattle. So, our program is to worship the original Supreme Personality of God as Krishna, Govinda Madhi Purusam Tamangamaya. Uh, in this material world, everyone is trying to get happiness and to get relief from distress. Two things are going on. Attempt. <clears throat> there are different processes. Uh, material process is completely observed, that is already proved. No amount of material comfort or happiness, so-called happiness, can give us the actual happiness that we are anchoring. That is not possible. Then there are different other processes also. There are three kinds of misery due to our material uh, conditional life. Uh, Adhyatik, Adhibhotik, Adhidvayivit. Adhyatik means uh, pertaining to the body and to the mind. Just like when there is some disarrangement of the different functions of metabolism within this body, we get fever, we get some pain, headache, so many things. So these miseries are called adhyatik, pertaining to the body, and the another part of this adhyatic misery is due to the mind. Suppose I have suffered a great loss, so the mind is not in good condition. So this is also suffering. So for disease condition of the body or uh, some mental dissatisfaction, there are misery, then again uh, adibhotik, sufferings offered by other living entities. Uh, just like we are human beings, we are sending millions of poor animals to the slaughterhouse daily. They cannot express, uh, but this is called adhi bhauti, sufferings offered by other living entities. Similarly, we have to suffer also, sufferings offered by other living entities. God's law, you cannot, I mean to say, supersede. The material laws, state laws, you can hide yourself, but God's law, you cannot hide yourself. There are so many witnesses. The sun is your witness, the moon is your witness, the day is your witness, the night is your witness, the sky is your witness. So how you can supersede the laws of the Lord? So, but this material nature is so constituted that we have to suffer. Adhyatik, pertaining to the body, pertaining to the mind, and suffering suffered by other living entities, and another suffering, adi daivi. Adi daivi, just like somebody is ghost haunted. 
A ghost has attacked him. A ghost cannot be seen, but he is suffering. Delirium. Speaking. Something nonsense. <coughs> or there is famine, there is earthquake, there is war, there is pestilence, so many things. The sufferings are always there. Uh, but we are trying to adjust by patchwork. Sufferings are always there. Everyone is trying to get out of suffering. That is a fact. The whole struggle for existence is to get out of this suffering. But there are different kinds of prescriptions. Somebody says that you get out of the sufferings in this way. Somebody says you get out of the sufferings in that way. <clears throat> so there are prescriptions offered by the modern scientists, by philosophers, by atheists, or by priests, uh, by fruitive actors, so many there are. But uh, according to Krishna consciousness movement, you can uh, get out of all sufferings if you simply change your consciousness. That's all. That is Krishna consciousness. Uh, <clears throat> as I have given you several times the example, uh, all our sufferings are due to uh, lack of knowledge, ignorance. Uh, that knowledge can be achieved by uh, association of good authorities. Uh, there is a nice Bengali verse, uh, Krishna bhulya jeevi bhoga mancha kare, pasate maya tare japotiya dhare. As soon as uh, our original consciousness becomes polluted with the consciousness of material enjoyment, that I want to lord it over the sources of matter. As soon as we uh, turn our consciousness in this way, uh, then our troubles begin immediate Maya. Uh, this very consciousness that I can enjoy this material world to my best capacity. Everyone is trying to do that. Every one of us, in beginning from the end up to the highest uh, living creature, Brahma, everyone is trying to become uh, one of the lords. Just like recently in your country there are so many uh, canvassing for becoming the president. Why? The same idea. Everyone is after becoming a, some kind of lord. This is Maya. Our Krishna consciousness movement is completely opposite. We are just trying to become the servant of the servant of the servant of the servant of Krishna. Just of us. Instead of becoming the law, we want to be the servant of the servant of Krishna. Gopi Vattu Padakamale Udasa Dasa So in the modern trend of civilization, people may say that this is slave mentality. It is very good idea. Why shall I become a slave? I shall become the master. But one does not know that this consciousness, that I shall become the master, is the cause of his suffering. 
this philosophy has to be understood. Because constitutionally we are all servants. In the name of becoming master of this material world, we have become this servant of our senses. Because constitutionally we are servants. We cannot do without serving. Every one of us who are sitting in this meeting is a servant. Now these boys uh, who have taken to Krishna consciousness, they have agreed to become servant of Krishna. So their problem is solved. But others who are thinking that why shall I become the servant of God or servant of Samiji? I shall become the master. But actually cannot become master. He is the servant of his senses, that's all. Just try to understand. Servant he must be, but he is servant of his lust, he is servant of his avarice, he is servant of his greediness, servant of his anger, servant of so many things. Kama dinam kutidhana kutidha palita dunnivis. In higher state, somebody has become the servant of humanity, somebody has become the servant of the society, somebody has become the servant of the country. But actual purpose is that I shall become the master. That disease is there. The candidates for presidency, they are presenting their different manifestations Ah, no manifesto that uh, I shall serve the country very nicely. Please give me your vote. Uh, but the real idea is that somewhere or other I, I, I shall become the master of the country. So this is my. So, uh, if we understand this as uh, small philosophy, that constitutionally I am servant. There is no doubt. Nobody can say that I am free, I am master. Nobody can say. If he thinks like that, that is my Is this false? Can anybody say in this meeting that he is not servant of anybody or anything? He must be, because that is his constitutional position. But the difficulty is that by serving our senses, uh, there is no solution of the problem, of the misery. For the time being, I may uh, satisfy myself that I have taken this intoxication, and, and under the spell of this intoxication I may think that I am nobody servant and free, but that is artificial. As soon as the hallucination is gone, he comes to the point again, servant. Again, servant. So, this is our position. But why this struggle is there? I am being forced to serve, but I don't want to serve. What is the adjustment? The adjustment, ad, ad, adjustment is Krishna consciousness. That if you become servant of Krishna, then uh, your aspiration to become a master, at the same time your aspiration of freedom, is immediately achieved. Just like here you will see one picture of Arjuna and Krishna. Krishna is the Supreme Lord. Arjuna is a living entity, living being, a human being. But he is in love with Krishna as friend. 
and in exchange of his friendly love, Krishna has become his driver, his servant. Similarly, if every one of us we become reinstated in the transcendental platform of loving Krishna, then our aspiration of mastery will be fulfilled. That is not known at present, but if we agree to serve Krishna, then gradually we will see that Krishna is serving him. That is a question of realization. But if we want to get out of this service of this material world, of the senses, then we must transfer our service attitude to Krishna. <coughs> this is called Krishna consciousness. Kama dinam kotidhana kotidha palita dunni desha tisang maina kuruna jata natrupa nopushanti sampratam tamaya sampratam ahang labda buddhi tamaya tam nijun kumam atmadasi. One devotee he is praying to Krishna that so long uh, in my life I have served my senses. Kamadina. Kam means sense, lust. So even what I uh, should not have done is still by the dictation of my lust I have done it. What has to do? When one is a slave or servant, then he is forced to act something which he does not like to act. He is forced. So here a devotee is admitting that I have done, dictated by my lust, something which I should not have done, but I have done it. All right, you have done your serving, your senses, that's all right. But the difficulty is that tesa kurunana jata natrapano pasanti. I have served so much, but I find that they are not satisfied. They are not satisfied. Ah, that is my difficulty. Neither the senses are satisfied, nor I am satisfied, nor the senses are kind enough to give me uh, relief, pension from the self. That is my position. If I would have said that, rather if we would have felt that I have served so many years my senses, now my senses are satisfied. No. They are not satisfied. It's still dictating. It's still dictating. Oh. I am very, of course, it is very natural, but I may uh, disclose here with that uh, some of my students said that oh, uh, in his elderly age, how his mother is going to marry. Yes, see. She has got grown up children, and somebody complained that he, his grandmother also married. Why? Just see, in seventy-five years old, in fifty years old, the senses are still so strong that she is being dictated. Yes, he must be. Try to understand practically how the senses are strong. It is not that simply the young men are servant of the senses. Even seventy-five years old, eighty years old are at the point of death, they are all servants of them. The senses are never satisfied. That is the uh, material dictation. So I am servant. Uh, I am servant of my senses, and by serving my senses, neither I am satisfied nor my senses are satisfied. Not they are pleased upon me, there is chaos. 
So this is the problem. The best thing, therefore, Krishna says, Lord Krishna says, Sarvadhanman paritajya mamekam saranam vajya ahamtang sarvupapidva mukhushyami matuch. You have served your senses so many lives, life after life. Eight million four hundred thousand subspecies of life. Oh. The birds they are also under senses, the beasts they are also under senses, the men, human being, and everyone, the demigods, everyone within this material, they are after sense, having this sense. But Krishna says that you just surrender unto me, just agree to serve me. Then I take charge of you. That's all. Aṅkāṁ sarva-pāpi bhyo-mukṣa-śāmi, māsūt. Because by the dictation of the senses, we are committing sinful activities, life after life. Therefore, we are in different grades of bodily presentation. Don't think that everyone is of the same standard. No. According to one's own work, he gets a type of body. So these uh, different types of body are due to different grades of sense gratification. The sense gratification is there in the hog's life also. Uh, why he has been offered a body of the hog? So much sensuous that it has no discrimination with mother, with sister, or with this or with that. This is practically, you see. Uh, the dogs and hogs, they are like that. In human society also there are many who don't care uh, who is mother, who is sister, or who is this. The senses are so strong. And this is our cause of all misery. Try to understand. The threefold misery that we are suffering, that we are trying to make a solution, is due to the dictation of the sense. That power Krishna is there. Krishna is there. His name is Mother Namor. If you try to transfer your love uh, from sense to Krishna, then see the result. Immediately you will find. Shevan Mukhi Juhal. So this false uh, endeavor that I want to be master of all I survey, I am the monarch of all I survey, these attitudes should be given up. Every one of us, his constitution is servant. Now at the present moment we are servant of the sense. Now this servitorship should be changed to Krishna. Sevan Mukhi Divhadu Sameva Suratpada. And as soon as you change your service, uh, servitorship to Krishna, then uh, gradually as you become sincere, so Krishna reveals to you and reciprocation of service between Krishna and yourself will be so nice. Either you love him as friend or master or lover or there are so many items. Anyway, you can try to love him and see how much you are satisfied. This is Krishna consciousness movement. Please try to understand. Uh, it is uh, now in your country these boys are trying to preach this Krishna consciousness movement. So my humble request to you all is to try to understand this sublime uh, benediction of life simply by chanting Hare Krishna. It uh, will gradually develop a transcendental loving 
attitude for Krishna, and as soon as you begin to love Krishna, your uh, all troubles, uh, that means you feel complete satisfaction. Trouble or distress is of the mind. Uh, one man is getting uh, six thousand dollars a month. One man is getting uh, two hundred dollars a month. But uh, that I have seen one gentleman in Calcutta. He was drawing six thousand. He committed suicide. Committed suicide. Why? That money could not give him satisfaction. He was trying to have something else. So this material atmosphere by earning great amount of money will never give him satisfaction because everyone of us is the servant of the senses. These platform of service of the senses should be transferred to the platform of service to Krishna, and then we will find a whole problem solved. Thank you. Any question? Picture of devotee. A pure devotee. Yes. It's absolute in the same way that yes. that's a picture of Prahalad Maharaj and Lord Shumide. Yes. Is also uh, Prahalad is there as, as much as Lord Shumide. Yes. The Lord and the devotee they are on the same status. Uh, every one of them. Uh, Lord, his name, his form, his quality. His associates, his paraphernalia, uh, everything, they are absolute. Nam, Gun, Ru, Lila, Purikan, past times. Just like we are hearing about Krishna, so this is not different from Krishna. When there is chanting, Hare Krishna, this Hare Krishna, this vibration is not different from Krishna. Everything is absolute. Therefore, pure devotee of Krishna is not different from Krishna. This is simultaneously one and different. Achinta Vidave Tattva. This philosophy has to be understood. That Krishna is the supreme person, energy. And everything what we see, what we experience, they are all different energies of Krishna. And the energy and the energetic cannot be separated. Therefore they are all on the absolute platform. Simply when it is covered by māyā or ignorance, it is different. Yes. Uh, never think that service is perfect. That that will may keep you in the perfect stage. Yes. We should always think that our service is not complete. Yes. That is very nice. Just like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu taught us that he said uh, that my dear friends. Please take it from me that I have not a, a pinch of faith in Krishna. Huh? If you say that why I am crying, ah, then the answer is that just to make it so that I am a great devotee. Actually, 
I am not a prince of love for Krishna. This crying is simply my soul, make so. Uh, why you are saying so? Now the thing is that uh, I am still living without seeing Krishna. That means I have no love for Krishna. I am still living. I should have died long ago without seeing Krishna. So we should think like that. That is the example. However perfect you may be in serving Krishna, you should always know that Krishna is unlimited. Ah, so your service cannot reach Him perfectly. It will ever remain imperfect because we are limited. But Krishna is so kind. If you offer a little service sincerely, He accepts. Krishna is the beauty of Krishna. Salpam of your sadharma satrayati mahatu And if Krishna accepts a little service from you, then your life is glorious. So, it is not possible to love Krishna perfectly, to render service to Krishna, because He is unlimited. There is a process of worshipping the Ganges in India. The Ganges river is considered sacred river. So, they worship uh, the Ganges, river Ganges, by taking water from the Ganges and offering it. Suppose in a small pot like this, either pot or your hand food, you take some water from the Ganges and with your devotion and mantra you offer to the Ganges water. So, you take a glass of water from the Ganges and offer it to the Ganges. What is their gain and profit or loss or gain for the Ganges? If you take a glass of water from the Ganges and again offer it, so what is the gain and profit of Ganges? But your process, your faith, your love for Mother Ganges, Mother Ganges, I offer you this little word. That is accepted. Similarly, what we have got to offer Krishna? Everything belongs to Krishna. Now we have offered these fruits. Ah. Do the fruits belong to us? Who has produced this fruit? Have I produced? Is there any brain of the human being who can produce fruits, grains, milk? Uh, they are very great scientists. Uh, now, let them produce. Uh, the cow is eating grass and delivering you milk. So now, by scientific process, why don't you transform grass into milk? Still the rascals will not agree that there is God. They have become so rascal. Science. And what is your science nonsense? You see the cow are eating grass and delivering milk. Why don't you give to your wife and take milk? Why do you purchase? But if you offer this grass to a human being, he will die. So everything, the law of Krishna, law of God is working, and still they say the God is dead, there is no God. I am God. You do this like that? They have become so rascals and fools. Why they do not come to this meeting? Ah, ah the Sami is speaking of God, old things. <laughs> <laughs> Let us discover something new. <laughs> you see, I mean, if somebody speaks all nonsense, then, oh, you see, he spoke four hours on zero. Just somebody in Montreal, one gentleman, I mean, he is so wonderful, he spoke four hours on zero. Just such a fool that four hours he wanted to hear on zero. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
What is the value of zero? And you waste your time four hours. After all, it is zero. So people want this. Huh? People want this. If we say simple things, God is great. You are the servant, eternal servant. You, are, you have no power. You are always dependent on God. Just turn your servitorship to God and you will be happy. Oh, this is not right. So they want to be cheated. Therefore so many cheaters come and cheat and go out. That's all. The people want to be cheated. They don't want simple things. Yes. So far, what was the what was exactly predicted by uh, Lord Chaitanya when he predicted uh, the Gopani and how he was chanting Hare Krishna mantra? Yes. Uh, people, uh, just like we are now preaching Hare Krishna, in your country there was no such preaching, so we have sent our students in Europe. Germany, London, you are also spreading. In this way, it is only we are act, our activities since 1966, 1966 practically. We have registered the association in 1966, and this is 68. So gradually you are spreading, and of oh, course I am old man, I may die. If you, if you have taken up this uh, formula very nicely, then you will go on preaching and it will be spread all over the world. Many simple things. Simply we require a little intelligence, that's all. So any intelligent man will appreciate. But if anyone wants to be cheated, then how he can be saved? If one willingly wants to be cheated, so that is very difficult to convince him. But those who are open-hearted, they will certainly accept this nice movement, Krishna consciousness. Yes. When we engage in inferior energy, material energy, you know, in, in the service of Krishna, it becomes this, this spiritualized. Uh, no. When you uh, uh, apply your energy, it is no more material. It is spiritual. Just like when the copper wire is in touch with electricity, it is no more copper. It is electric. So service to Krishna means as soon as you don't tell yourself in the service of Krishna, you are not different from Krishna. That is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Mancabdavicharini bhakti yogena ja sevate. This is very what sevas. Sagunan samatitta samatitta etana brahma bhuyaya kalpati. Anyone who uh, seriously engages in self, in my service, immediately he becomes transcendental to the material qualities and he is on the platform of Brahma. Brahma Bhuyaya Kalpata. So when you apply your energy in the service of Krishna, it, you do not think that uh, your material energy uh, is uh, there. No. Just like the, these fruits, these fruits one may think, uh, what is this prasāna? Uh, uh, this uh, fruit has been purchased. Uh, we also eat fruit at home. I know uh, this is prasanna. No, because it is offered to Krishna, immediately it is no more material. The result, you eat Krishna prasanna and see how you are making progress in Krishna consciousness. Just uh, if the physician gives you some medicine and if you get yourself cured, uh, that is the effect of medicine. Another example is that uh, how 
the material things become spiritual. A very nice example, just like you, you have taken a large quantity of milk, so there is some disorder in your bowels. You go to a physician, at least then according to a Vedic system, they will offer you a, a, a preparation which is called jugar. Uh, that is milk preparation. That jugar with little medicine will cure. Now, your disease was caused by milk and it is cured by milk. Why? It is directed by the physician. Similarly, everything in the higher sense there is no existence of matter. It is only illusion. Uh, just like this morning I was giving uh, the instance of the sun and the fog. The uh, fog was there. The sun could not be seen. The foolish person will say that there is no sun. It is simply fog. But intelligent person will say that uh, sun is there, but the fog has covered our eyes, we cannot see the sun. <coughs> Similarly, actually everything being energy of Krishna, there is nothing material. Simply our, this uh, mentality that we want to lord it over, that is fog, illusion. That is covering our relationship with Krishna. For that he will gradually understand. Sevan Mukhahi Jivaharu Sameva Suratama. As you make progress in the service attitude, everything will become clear. How your energy has become spiritual. Is Maya a pure devotee? Maya. Pure devotee is not. He is not. He is not under Maya. No, no. He is Maya. Maya Devi. Yes. Yeah. Pure devotee. Certainly. The police fall. They, are they not honest servant of the government? Does it mean the police force tortures you, therefore they are rejected from the government servant? The task is thankless task, that's all. Similarly, Maya he is also serving Krishna, but there is no thanks. There is a difference. She has taken a thankless task to punish persons who are godless, that's all. So, Maya as it is, uh, it is not that uh, she is out of touch of Krishna. Vaishnavi, in the, in the Chandi, in the book of Maya, it is stated that Vaishnavi, the Maya is described as Vaishnavi, just like pure devotee is called Vaishnava. She is also described there as Vaishnavi. How do you make everything so simple to understand? Hmm? How do you make everything that you say so simple to understand? Because the whole philosophy is so simple. God is great. You are not great. Don't claim that you are God. Don't claim that there is no God. There is God and He is great. And you are small. Then what is your position? Uh, you have to serve Krishna. This is simple truth. So that rebellious attitude is called Maya. Anyone who is uh, declaring that there is no God, God is dead, I am God, you are God, they are all under the spell of Maya. 
পিসাচি পাইলে যেন মতিচ্ছন্ন হয় জাস্ট লাইক মানে ম্যান ইজ ঘোষ হন্টেড হি স্পিক অল কাইন্ডস অফ নন সো অল দিস পার্সন আর হন্টেড বাই মায়া and therefore they are saying god is dead i am god why you are searching god everywhere there are so many gods lying in the street they are all ghost hunted the rain so you have to cure them by this transcendental vibration hare krishna this is the curing process all Simply let them hear and they will be able to cure. That's why man, he is sleeping very sound. You cry uh, by the side of his ear and he awakes. So this is the mantra to awake the, the sleeping human society. Uttishtha, Uttishtata, Jagrata, Prapsavara, Nivodata. The Veda says, oh, oh, human rest, please get up. Don't sleep anymore. You have got this opportunity of human body. Utilize it. Get yourself out of the classes of mind. This is the declaration of Veda. So you are doing that job. Hare Krishna, chant Hare Krishna. Yes. Is past, present, and future in the material sense a perverted reflection of the same intention? Yes, past, future, and present is according to the different kinds of relativity. That is a scientific truth. Professor Einstein has proved it. Just like uh, your past is not past of Brahma, your uh, present is not uh, the present of an ant. So past, present, future, time is eternal. It is according to the different dimension of body relativity. <coughs> time is eternal. Just like a small ant. Oh. In twenty-four hours, he has twenty-four times past, present, and future. Oh. In the Sputnik, and the Russian Sputnik, oh. and a circumambulator round this earth in uh, one hour twenty-five minutes, or something like that. Uh, they, I mean, say. went round the earth for twenty-five times. That means within one hour twenty-five minutes the Sputnik man saw uh, twenty-five times day and night. So in the higher atmosphere the past and present is different. So this past, present, future is related. According to your body, according to your circumstances, actually there is no past, present, future, everything is done. You are eternal. Nitya sārsatayam nahanna te hanna vāne sarīre. You do not die. Therefore the people do not know that I am eternal. What is my eternal engagement? What is my eternal life? They are simply captivated on the spot life. I am American, I am Indian, I am this and that. Yes. This is ignorance. So one has to search out this eternal engagement with Krishna. Then he will be happy. Thank you.
जय राधा माधव कुन्नो बिहारी Jashodhanan, Vrajana, Ranjana Jashodhanan, Vrajana, Ranjana Jamona, Thira, Abhana, Chari Jamuna Thira Bhanna Chari Jamuna Thira Bhanna Chari Jaya Radha Madhava Kunya Bihari Gopi Jana Vallava Dhiri Vardhari Gopi Jana Vallava Dhiri Vardhari Yasodhananana Vrajajana Ranjana Yasodhananana Vrajajana Ranjana Yamuna Thira Bhanna Chadhi Yamuna Thira Jaya Radha Madhava Kunda Bihari Jaya Radha Madhava Kunda Bihari जायम स्वाप परमं सप्रिब्रा जगाचा जस्तकरे सरस्माद अपिदान दशरसी दुष्णामी भगवादी जाय अंत पूरी भूषण मिलने की जाय नावाचार जैसे हरिदास ठाकुर की जाय प्रेम से कहो सी किसने चाहिए जन्म प्रमुनिक्तान अन्य सी अद्वैत गदादार सुगाटार भोग भक्ति मिल गया सिसी राधा कृष्ण भोग अपना साम कुंडला जमुना माय की जाए, दूधवार का धाम की जाए, सांवी तो भक्तमिंद की जाए, और ग्लोरी सुधर समझे, और ग्लोरी सुधर समझे। थैंक यू वेरी मैच।